Let's take a few moments to look into your course that you will find located under the Academics tab. So we have logged into Wolfden. We have our tabs across the top of the page. We're going to click on the Academics tab. When we click on the Academics tab, the screen will refresh. Under the Academics tab, you will find access to where you have a grade report. You will select the term that you are interested in and the screen will refresh and you will have additional options to see your grade report after that. This section where it says all my courses is a very important section. This is where you can find all of your courses that you are currently enrolled in to access the online portion of your course as well as any previous courses and if you are registered for future courses and you may be able to see them as well. If you would like to access your past courses, you literally just click on this drop down menu, choose past courses, and your screen will refresh to show you your past courses. If you would like to see your future courses, you of course will click on the drop down menu and choose future courses. Right now, we are going to jump into our college life 110 online academic success course. As soon as you enter your course, you will see a snapshot or an overview of your course. If you have a grade from a graded assignment, it will show up in this area. If your instructor has posted any news, like any announcements that they want you to be aware of, it will show up in this section. Any of your upcoming due dates and assignments will show up in the third section. This is just a snapshot for the first part of your view. As you scroll down, you will see the, the current unit that you are in in detail. Any items that are on the calendar as far as due dates, this includes reading assignments, video podcasts that you have to look at and review, any activities, any graded work, all of them will show up on your calendar as well. So let's take a look into coursework. You can always click the next arrow to get to the next unit and navigate this way. However, the preferred method of navigation in coursework is to use the left navigation panel of your course. As you can see, the getting started link is also the same as your course homepage. You next have your course calendar, which will display any upcoming due dates that you have. You would just scroll down and look at your calendar and you can navigate through the months and you can see all of the assignments that you have coming up. You can click on news and announcements to see if there's any available news or announcements that your instructor has posted. In this example, there are no current news or announcements that's been posted. Coursework. This is the best place to go to find out where your assignments are. I will come right back to this. Your syllabus. In order to find your syllabus, you would click on the syllabus page and there will be a syllabus that will show up here and anything else the instructor would like to show. So make sure that you check the syllabus tab. Your course information will have some basic course information about who the faculty member is of this course um, and any kind of office hours that may be available for them. If your instructor has added any resources, they will be under the resource tab. Again, this is if your faculty member has added these. You also have a chat feature. This is really nice. If you and a fellow classmate would like to join into a chat, you can talk about joining at a certain time. Both we'll log into Wolfden, click chat, and you can literally start typing here to chat. Let's go back and take a look at the coursework section. This is where you are going to go to find all of your assignments, whether they are reading assignments, your course objectives, any discussion forums, any graded assignments. It's going to be under coursework. In your class, when you hit coursework, it's going to give you a due date that's coming up next of the next couple of assignments that will be here. Then whatever unit you are in will show up next. In this particular College Life Academic Online Success class, we have a Getting Started unit. All you do is you click on each one of these links. So I'm going to click on About This Course. This is kind of like a reading lecture. 
It's going to tell you a little bit about the course. It's going to give you some ideas of an assignment that you're going to have to do and where to go if you have any questions. We'll also give you an overview of the modules in this course. When you are done reading that, you can simply hit Next. Next is going to be located at the bottom of your screen, right here, or up at the top of your screen, right here. So we'll, we'll press Next. This goes to the next assignment in coursework. Again, an assignment can be a reading assignment or something that you need to do. In this instance, we have a quick quiz. This quiz is called a Course Check-In Acknowledgement Quiz. You should have already done this on the first day of class. I'm going to press Next. The next screen will show you a discussion forum that if you have any questions, you can go to the discussion forum and ask questions. These questions can range in information about the course, what do I do next? Hello instructor, I'm having trouble with module one or unit one assignment X, Y, and Z. So you can ask certain questions here. You may get answered by a peer as well and your instructor has 48 hours to answer your question that you post in your course questions form. Now instead of navigating to every single assignment by the next button, like what we have done so far in the getting started unit, I would like to show you how to navigate through the coursework tab. If we go back to coursework, here are the three items that we just clicked next through. We were on about this course, we clicked next, we saw the online course check-in acknowledgement quiz, we clicked next, and then we went to the what, does, what questions do you have. You can also navigate through your coursework by simply using the coursework portal that we're on now. We will look at module number one in Wolfden. This goes over the Wolfden navigation. Again, you can click on any number of these items to see the information that's in here. And let's say that I want to go back to coursework. You just click back over to coursework and you can scroll down and go to the next item, so forth and so on. So as you scroll down through each module, you can choose to navigate to various assignments this way or the way we did it a few moments ago with clicking on an item and then hitting the next button. So at a glance, your coursework button is your main point of contact in your course for all reading assignments, all course objectives, and any graded assignments that you will have. A few areas to check. Each time you log into your class will definitely be the news and announcements. Make sure that you check the news and announcements every single time that you log into class. Remember too that the Getting Started link in the left hand navigation page is your home page for the course and this is where you will see the course overview or a snapshot of your course with all of your due dates. Your gradebook is an excellent place to keep an eye on as well. It will give you a list of all of your assignments that you have to accomplish throughout the entire course. You will see what your score could possibly be and this is where you would keep an eye on your gradebook as well. If you wanted to send a message to your instructor through the gradebook, anywhere you see add a comment, whether it is here in the gradebook or it might be as part of an actual assignment, you would click add an comment, type in your message here, and then you would hit save. Now you will see your comment and then your instructor can also comment back to you as well. So we'll go back to the coursework portal. Again, you can scroll down and you can see all of the different assignments you'll have to do in this module. Please do not let this overwhelm you. Many of these items will take you five to ten minutes to go through. So as you are making progress through your course, you will see little check marks that will appear next to things that you have already viewed and done. So we've kind of gone through some of these and you will see the check marks there. That is a great way to help you stay on track of everything that you have accomplished in your course. If you have any questions, please make sure to email or call or text your instructor. Your instructor will be your very first resource for every question that you have. If your instructor is not available to help you at that moment, 
or can't help you at that moment due to a password login, then she or he will direct you on how to get in touch with someone who can help you. Thank you very much. I look forward to seeing you in the student lounge.